this video, we are gonna go visit my good friend, mentor, teacher, and spiritual advisor, Johnny Vodakovich. I had the opportunity of studying with Johnny for about five years in the early 90s, and he has since become a very important friend, mentor, and guide to me. And I've learned so much from him over the years, and the learning doesn't always have to happen over a formal lesson. Sometimes I would go see Johnny, and on his break, I would pick his brain, maybe offer to get him a beverage from the bar, maybe a Coke, or he likes to drink a sparkling water with a splash of cranberry. So I would often offer him that, and then we would maybe get a five minute lesson at the bar while we wait on that. So right now we're gonna go hear Johnny, and we're gonna listen to him, and I'm gonna ask him some questions on his break. When you do this with drummers that you really dig, and you do it on a regular basis, you can pick up some really valuable bits of information, and eventually you might even get asked to sit in and eventually maybe even sub on the gig. So this is really, really important to go out and hear people live. Can't encourage this highly enough. So let's go and see Johnny at the Maple Leaf Bar. Johnny V. It's an honor to be sitting with you right here at the Maple Leaf. And you and I have known each other for a long time. And what I want to talk to you about is, you know, a lot of people are learning these days and they're learning online, they're learning from books, but I want to talk about the importance of learning in, in person, person to person. And I want to talk about, for me, coming and finding you and, and asking you questions and eventually coming to your house, taking lessons with you, that, that changed my life. And you know that, and and I've taken everything that you've taught me and I've, I've brought it into my career. But if I didn't come out and seek you out and seek out Shannon Powell, she, seek out Pearl and Riley, I would not be the drummer I am today. So I'm I'm doing this talking to you to try to encourage people to go see live music. People need to, even if they're not in New Orleans, wherever they are go see live music, go seek out the best players in your town. And I used to be, Johnny B, what you need? What you, Mountain Valley? Can I get a Mountain Valley? And then Johnny V, bro, what was that beat you were playing on that last? And I, I got so many five minute lessons with you mm -hmm. just by being like, mm -hmm. hey, what you need, man? Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage people to keep doing that. Don't don't just live online. Don't just live in books. Mm -hmm. And so my question is, who who did you do that with when you were growing up? Did what? you do that? Did you go and seek cats out and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, especially in, in, in the real and, and getting the closer the better because then you get the feel, which is the magic, you know, uh, not, you know, uh, that might be able to be taught and analyzed and maybe, uh, you know, helped online or, or in, 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 not, in not a bit. Nothing like the feeling from the physics of being next to somebody. And then after you get, after you say, might notice from the flock, man, that becomes an automatic thing where you're actually comfortable touching each other. When you get to that point, then the knowledge is that what, the, what, the, what you're learning isn't just the shallow academia of, of, of what it is that you're trying to learn, but the, a depth that goes way beyond what you think you might even want to learn. Because, uh, you know, it's so in person and now you've physically fallen in love with everything and you're participating in an actual physical place that's made up of the same molecules and atoms that musical waves are made up of and you're participating in this in this uh, scientific process of music live music you know your, your body's now involved in the molecular structure of, of that that place where it's all happening and everybody's molecular structure is kind of in it. This thing you can't, ex I don't think you can experience any other way but to be in it. To be in it, to yeah. be in it. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you, it, it's also a primitive learning because, like when I say, you learn things that are much deeper than you would learn, uh, uh, you know, either academically or uh, not in the presence of the person. You, uh, you learn in things that are that are subconscious because there's so much going on that even you can't learn it. So, but you love it so much and you're part of it that it's being put in you. It's being put in you. Scientifically being put in you. Yes. Because you're there. It becomes a part of you. And then you create this, you know, if you go the second time to see the dude, he's going to see you. And then you go the third time to see you, he's going to figure out your drama. You go the fourth time to see you, he's going to say, hey, kid, uh, you're going to say, excuse me. But, but probably, you know, if you just did, sit there, you know, eventually, I mean, it's this kind of growth magic depth of a relationship what i don't it don't have to be whether you, you know this guy and go to his dinner at all it can be it can be a, a very non-verbal thing i have learned so much the things from drummers that i never spoke to never asked questions all i did was sit there and be part of it every time i got the chance from a different angle from a different perspective from a different sound acoustic environment oh i'm feeling something different you know i mean what can i say i hope you're enjoying this video and right now i am offering a special rate on subscriptions to my online drum school stanton Moore drum academy so if you have been thinking about signing up for the academy, take advantage of this special rate. Just click the link in the description and here you go. Now back to the video. Yeah, it's gotta become part of you. And I think what you were just saying, show up third, fourth time, maybe by the fourth time, he was like, hey, you're a drummer? You wanna sit in? And then when you get to sit in, in front of one of your drumming heroes, that makes your drumming, you gotta play to this level. And when I used to get asked by you to sit in, quivering, quivering in my tennis shoes, but it made me wanna be better. Even if you play one song, you're, you're pushing yourself to be better than you are to, in, to impress the musicians on stage, but impress the drummer that you're there to see. That elevates your playing, and you can't do that by just watching stuff online, reading stuff in books. You gotta go out. You gotta get out the house. You gotta go see cats. Right? Yeah, and you got no matter what city you're in. You gotta be put on the spot and you gotta you gotta play what they wanna play and you gotta hope you can get through it. That's right. Like you said, man, about that third, fourth, fifth time I was at Mason's, man, I'd just be there to listen. But, you know, June Gardner and picked up on that. I was a drummer. And one night, it was about 3, 2 33 in the morning, he didn't even ask me if I wanted to sit in. He just, I was sitting at the table behind him. And he just handed me the sticks and said, sit in. And went, oh, fuck, what am I going to do? And that's you know, June Gardner. All I wanted to do was get through the song, you know, and not let it fall apart, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and then I didn't ask too many questions, you know, he said, you sound good, la, la, la. And then, you know, I didn't ask too many questions and, one, and, and, one, and he would give me advice, but I mean, his, his advice would be so minimal, but, you know, yeah. Gooch, 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 oh, boy, go, this is time. That's his time. Yeah. He took very well. Yeah. I just but at that time, he was playing with Jermaine Basil, Ed, uh, Ed, Ed, uh, oh, man. Ed Frank? Ed Frank. Yep. Uh, sometimes while the Peyton and they had this other older bass player I didn't know, and I can't remember, it could have been Red Talent, but I didn't know Red at the time. It, it was just, you know, so many, uh, 1967, you know, you know uh, 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 but, but yeah, 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 and Herb Taylor was the other drummer. Anyway, but yeah, just getting back to the subject, the, 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 those things, you know, uh, 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 were a deep, deep learning. Thanks. Being in the moment, being there, being present, listening in person, feeling that energy, and then you get ass up, you got to sit down, there's nothing like that. Right? It, it's just natural. Yeah. It's so natural. It's natural. And in my 
in, in my feeling, it's a, it's imperative. It's important to become a great drummer. You've got to have those interactions with other great drummers. Yep. 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 Right. Especially the ones you admire. Yeah. Even if you don't have interactions, you still have to be able to find a way to. Uh, you don't have to be able to find it. It'll find you. I take it back. Your natural draw, your natural attraction to that person doesn't need, even if it doesn't involve conversation, it doesn't involve conversation. If it's natural draw, you'll take what you'll get out of it. You don't have to try. You don't have to try. Because it's too natural a situation to try. If you try too hard, you're going to blow it. You're going to overthink it. When you walk into there, there's enough people creating that collective vibe and a totality of the music everything from the drummer on up to the whole band to the people to the to, to the fabric of the walls and the fl- i mean all of that is now activating and part of the music and so you don't have you don't have to try hard bro. all you gotta do is walk in and go ah, let it happen and then yeah you because know, it's bigger than you let it when happen. you don't realize it's it bigger than you, you realize you really don't need to overthink it because the motherfucker is bigger than me and it's going to be me. No, I mean, if I overthink it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drive me cuckoo. Let it happen, don't make Somebody it Somebody asked me that, uh, uh, last night, man, you know, how do I do the perfect thing? How do I make the perfect lyric? Uh, uh, you know, how, how do I make the end of it perfect? I said, oh, wait a minute, bro. Don't think it end. Get involved in the process. Get lost in the process. You know, every now and then, scoot to the end. But you know, get off of the end. If you think about the end, you're gonna mess up the process of the now. You know, you walk in there where you want to feel that music. Now it is. But don't think about what's gonna happen, what you're gonna learn, what you're gonna how you do it. Just let it wash over you. You know. But you gotta be there. Yeah, I think so. Absolutely so. Yeah, because it's it's science, you know. It's 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 very science, and I believe very much in the scientific, you know, wavelength, sound, uh, uh, forms, and you know, they're real. Music is a real thing. We can't see it because our you can't see music because this, our species is not sophisticated enough to be able to see, the, you know, the atoms and sound waves and collective things that make make music. But it's actually in the air, but we can't see it. It's in the fascia that's in between you and I, you know? But there's a bunch of shit happening between you and I, but our species can't see it. Yeah, but we can feel it's, it. Oh, yeah, it's touching we the can skin, feel it. and it's going in the holes. It's touching the skin, and it's going in the holes, so you can feel it. And it's touching, you, you'll feel it tingle down here. You know, like sometimes with music, you feel, whoa, man, why, why are... Why am I private stand tingling? <laughs> it's because the music's good. Because the music's good, bro. I think that. That's why Charlie Grant used to go like that all the time. Charlie, stop that. Damn. Tell me something. Jesus Christ, that's dirty, too dirty for Bourbon Street, bro. <laughs> Charlie Grant, stop it. <laughs> Beautiful. I think that's all we need, bro. Give me a hug. Love you, man. I'm gonna uh, check the plumbing and uh, shake hands with the president and go play. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into this video. Hopefully you picked up some ideas on how you can approach some of your favorite drummers in your town. And you can go and maybe get a little bit of information over asking them some questions on their break. And eventually maybe you get to sit in and eventually maybe even sub for them. And these are experiences that you can really only get in person. So I really encourage you to start going out and hearing some of your favorite drummers in whichever town you are and hearing them live and interacting with them and getting some of that that real life experience and getting some of those answers to your questions right there in real time. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I am putting out new videos. Thanks so much and I'll see you down the line.